back butter Just to have you a little fun Get you sixteen dollars ready When the police wagon comes Oh sweet mama blues. Alright y'all, how do we play it? Um, I guess I'll, I'll show you a couple of minor variations on this. First thing we got to do, get our banjo in tune. So you can hear from that I'm in a G, C, G, C, D relative. That's also generally called double C nowadays. Um, uh, George Gibson told me that uh, uh, a guy named Eddie Haggard used to call that one finger C because you put your one finger on the first string at the second fret and you got a C chord. So he called that one finger C. Um, and it's also called hook and line tuning traditionally in, in some parts of, uh, of the southeastern United States because that was a song very commonly associated with this tuning. Anyhow. And y'all should know by now I'm, I'm one full step below this so I can sing with it. So I'm really in F, B flat, F, B flat, C. Double C relative tuning. So how do we play it? So the first thing you do, you, uh, I like to take my, my middle finger here. And I start, you start out on the third string open. Then note it at the second fret. Then you get your hit the second string open. So if you go down, in, and then I uh, what I do is I slide up. I go uh, on the third string. I slide from the third fret up to the second fret. If you go down in black, uh, black bottom. So then I like to then you basically you slide up, hit the string open, then come down hard with this F chord. Your ring finger on the first string at the third fret, your pointer finger at the third string at the second fret. If you go down in black bottom, hide your money in your shoe. So all I've done there is that after I do that sort of power chord there, black bottom, hit the third string open again, then note it, hide your money, and it's back to the second string open, hide your money in your shoe. So you kind of do, and you do it again. Instead of going to the power chord, you come to the bass string and give it a heavy bend. And then I'll make that full C chord there. So once you get that first part, then you're going to do your little bass run, and it's easy. It's just go from the second fret on the bass string to the fourth fret, and then to the fifth, and you're going to hold it at the fifth for a few notes. Get your sixteen dollars. to the third string of the second fret. When the police wagon comes. So I like to do a little double note there. Or you can do that slide back up.
Get your sixteen dollars ready. Bring a police wagon come. And then since this is this bluesy number, you've got this bluesy refrain. So the way I get that, oh sweet mama, is I come from on the second string from the first fret to the second fret. Oh sweet, and then a big heavy bend on that third string at the second fret. Oh sweet mama. The other way I'll accomplish that is just doing two quick bends on the second string at the second fret. couple different ways you can do this. So the way when I was a kid, I learned this song from George Gibson. He goes and he repeatedly hit the third string open while doing the repeated open string pull off on the first string of the second fret. Oh sweet mama I've got them black just went straight to the bend on the heavy bend on the bass string at the second fret. Oh sweet mama, I've got them black bottom blues. But I, I think I heard John Haywood do it a number of times and I started doing it the way he does it because I think it sounds a little prettier. So he goes, oh sweet mama, Instead of just letting it ride out. So Haywood goes, Oh sweet mama, lets it ride for a minute, and then he jumps into that heavy F chord. Got them black bottom blue. So all I'm doing is I'm going into that heavy F chord. Doesn't even matter really what at this point what strings you're hitting with your right hand. I'm hitting the third string a couple times and then the second string open. I got them black and then jumping right down to that heavy bend on the bass string. Bottom blues, I got them black, bottom blues. So you see there's a couple different ways to do it. I'll demonstrate again one more time. So the way Gibson did it when I was a kid, probably still does it. Oh sweet mama. Daddy's got them black bottom blues. And then the way I've heard John Haywood do it, he goes, Oh, sweet mama, got them black bottom blues. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. There's nothing that says you can't do it both ways and do it both ways if you want. One time do it Gibson's way, next time do it Haywood's way. I played it on stage recently and I did that power chord way every time. I think it's a little, little bit hotter sounding. So, oh sweet mama, got them black bottom blues. And once you do that, you got them black bottom blues, then it's time for your, your other little bass run. Just a little showy little rhythmic piece and it's easy you just you're sliding from the second to the third fret on the bass string and then doing a little quick double notes on your third string at the second fret entirely optional you know I'm not gonna walk you through it step by step but it's pretty easy I'll do close-ups of this too instrumental run is, is optional uh, so look out for the close-ups I'm gonna post of this and let me know what you know if, if you need anything else from me on this uh, other note I'll I'll tell you is that when I was a kid George played um, he sang black bottom blues and he sang 
Staggly, which he called Staggly and Billy, I'm pretty sure. He sang those both over the same tune, and I think he put that little instrumental run in both. <laughs> Also, George has a great story he'll tell periodically about um, this old old man when uh, when he was a kid that that described to him, I guess another old person in the community who used to who played a fretless banjo and they played that fretless banjo that the, the fingerboard was all wore out and dented and uh, George asked him what the song was that he that he his favorite song was that the old man played on that on that old fretless banjo and he said Black Bottom Blues. <laughs> Okay, guys, that's about all the time I've got for this. Um, look out for those close-ups soon. So thanks for looking, and thanks for your contributions. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to it. See you later.